So recently I was tearing down an electrolytic capacitor and one of the readers was wondering uh, what a supercapacitor looks like, thinking it might be quite a bit different. Uh, for example, this uh, capacitor in the foreground here is a standard electrolytic 100 microfarads. Behind it is a 1 farad capacitor and uh, you can see physically they're about the same size. Uh, that's over uh, 10,000 times more capacitance and of course I, the reader was wondering it must be something really special going on inside. And the interesting uh, observation actually, not really, it looks uh, mechanically quite the same uh, inside. Let's uh, pop off the uh, case. So let's uh, take the uh, cap off the end of the capacitor that holds in the uh, contents and uh, take a look at the side view there. It looks really similar to the electrolytic capacitor. Uh, and then if you look on the end view, uh, you can sort of see there's definitely some foils wrapped together, but it doesn't look dramatically different than the electrolytic capacitor. And uh, if you start to unroll it though, the secret starts to become apparent. Uh, you get this sort of black powder coming off. And uh, to sort down what that is, uh, something called the Material Safety Data Sheet, MSDS, there's an American law that requires these. And uh, it can be a tremendous uh, resource for finding information about uh, components. Now here's an MSDS, it's not for this specific capacitor, it's from a different company called Maxell, uh, but it gives me some indication of the contents and uh, this word activated uh, charcoal shows up. And uh, that's an important uh, hint. If I go on to uh, Wikipedia and uh, type in that, I'll get a nice photograph that pops up uh, that someone's placed onto the site uh, and shows why this capacitor has such tremendous capacitance. And that's because there's incredible amounts of surface area uh, in activated charcoal. So uh, it's interesting, just changing the dielectric, of course, has dramatically improved the capacitance. Uh, if you're wondering, of course, why they don't use that for all capacitors, the other uh, factor you have to look at is the operating voltage. Uh, only a couple volts on this capacitor, that's pretty typical of supercapacitors. They have very low operating voltages. So uh, there's definitely a trade-off. You've got tremendous capacitance, but you don't get quite a much uh, operating voltage out of it. So there you go. Uh, basically, it's identical to an electrolytic, except for the fact that there's a very fascinating dielectric inside.